What are we doing, Mrs. Crispy? We're airing down. What are we using? Uh, camp boss deflators. Camp boss deflators. That's the go-to. Camp boss deflators. I think they're about a hundred bucks. About 16. Perfect. That's my go-to. What do you got there, Crispy? It's my new recovery hitch. It's from George 4x4. And um, this one is soft um, shackle uh, compatible. And because it's um, got a nice um, curved edge on the side there, so it won't break the soft shackle. So this is my little tie gauge. Um, where did I get this from? Probably just super cheap. Can't remember how much it was. But you just, it's got different um, PSI bar and some other pressure. Can't read it because I'm blind. But um, yeah, I'm just going to check to see how much it is. Because it doesn't look right. Push it on. Helping someone out with their tire deflating with the camp boss. Check all the kangaroos and stuff up there. Yeah. So if you go to on the um, beach, oh, I didn't, yeah, it's coming no. early in the morning. Yeah. yeah. It's mint. Yeah. And in the late in the afternoon, but if you go to um, there's like a whole heap of sites where there's a toilet block, outdoor shower, and then during the like um sort of uh, day, uh, so get lunchtime or something like that, the kangaroos will all they just be in the in the shade oh. there. So you just unwind that lock nut. Ah, and then okay. in there is the actual gauge. It tells you where so you, you hold that one and then you turn that and then you can set it to, if you've got your glasses on like me, hey, you can right. actually <laughs> set it to 15, right. 20 or whatever. And then you just do your lock nut back up. Oh, and then that's it set. And then that, that's set. Well, that's a pretty simple operation then. Yeah. yeah. You just chuck them in your bag. Well, I'd be interested. And so then you just chuck them in your pocket because you can have them. No, yeah. you can have do you get do you get given those things? No, no, you can have it's it. Right. No, you can have it. No, you can have it. No, it's good. You can have it. Yes, yep. I'm serious. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you so much. Right, oh, no, we let our tires down. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Guess what, Crispy? I'm driving today. You're driving. I'm going to drive because I need the practice because I'm heading to Tiwa on the 16th of October for the Tiwa cleanup with Surf Rider with Uncle Johnny yep. and so I'll be driving the camper trailer so I need the practice to make sure I've got all this down, all this technology down and what gear to be in so yep. um, Crispy you can help me today hopefully and tell me where I'm going wrong with like you love to do. <laughs> yeah, right, righto, let's go. Okie dokie. Righto, start him up. I do know. Do you know how to start it up? I do know that the car needs to be on. You don't need to tell me to start the car. <laughs> okay, so it gets very boggy up here, but it has yeah. been raining, so it may not be too bad. And it's early morning, so the sand will be still yeah. maybe a little bit. So firm. you would normally just leave this in high four, wouldn't you? But yeah. because it's boggy, we got really, really bogged last time, should I go drop into the line? Yeah, let's not take any risks. Low four. Neutral. So I was about to say I'll put it into neutral and then switch it over to low four. Yep, low four. And then I need to go into the gears, don't no, I? Hang on. We'll put it in, put the central diff lock in. Oh yeah, central diff lock. So that I've got to hold it, don't I? So that'll come up on the screen. Okay. So what have you put on so far? Whatever that one is. Central diff lock. Yeah, it's central diff lock. And now I'm about to put the traction control. Turn the contraction control off. Off. And you got to push. What? Crispy. Yep. Okay, it's off. Done. And then i got to go into gears. Yep. Should go like that. And then you look over on your screen and probably go down a second to start off. Yep. Yep. That'll do. And go. He's very annoying, people. <laughs> He's annoying me already. <laughs> I'm glad when I go to TY he won't be in the car. Uh, yeah, Uncle I'll Johnny. I'll have Uncle Johnny who <laughs> doesn't even change the gears. He just stays in the same gear the whole time. Yeah. All right, we're on. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> right, eh? We're hitting the beach. How bogged did you get last time? Yeah, we got very bogged. So just try and keep in someone's to the left. tracks. Yeah. 
So these ones here. So this is where you get your number plate checked. Just coming out onto the beach. And it's high tide, we didn't check the tides. No, <laughs> we didn't check the tides. Um, She's running up on the, on the loose stuff. Good times. Hopefully I'll be on one of those photos that they put up on the I love TY page with the yeah. with the um, cars in the water. So don't follow that one. No, stay that stay way. In this yeah. way yeah. Can't see it coming up anymore. Some jet skis out there. Mrs. Crispy's on the beach. This is not that hard. I don't know what you're always <laughs> complaining about. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't look at the tides. <laughs> Just how experienced we are. Here we go. Up the beach we go. We're going down. We we we're going all right. <laughs> so far. So far. Do you want me to put the power button on? No. 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 Don't touch that. I don't even know what the power button does. <laughs> what does the power button do? It just like it's like a throttle controller. Like there's no lag. Yep, no. Yeah. So it's pretty much high tide now, so. I'm just staying up here because I'm practicing for Tiwa. Yep. On the 16th of October for the Surf Rider clean up. So get on and register everyone. You can go on um, to the Surf Rider page and they're offering free camping. So I think it's zone three or four and nighttime entertainment as well if you come along and help clean up Tiwa Beach. Yeah, and it needs needs to be cleaned up. There's a lot of rubbish. Always, yeah. And what date's that on? Uh, I think it starts on the 16th of October. It's yeah. for that weekend, Friday and Saturday night. So Uncle Johnny, as I said before, would be there with me. Yep. Running Chris, amok. Crispy will be at work and Uncle Johnny will be on the rums. Yep. And we're so. also offering a pack, a prize pack. Um, People come along, go into the drawer, and we're going to give away an easy barbecue. Yep. Which is national park friendly. And look how awesome that is. Wow. Looks cool. So, Mrs. Crispy. Yes, Mr. Crispy. When you feel the car bogged down a little bit, yep. it starts to go a little bit slow, and you think you're nearly going to get bogged. Yeah. Yeah. Give it some more berries, means the right foot. Yep. And, or drop it back a gear. Yep. So you're in fourth now, so yeah. drop it back to third and give it some some grapes. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't, I wasn't getting bogged down. No, but, but that's, that's how I you do it, yeah. Good tip. Good tip. Yeah, and if you get bogged, I reckon the best tip that I've ever heard you give is just to drop your tyres down lower. Yeah, so if you do, you're starting to bog down and you're spinning your wheels, as soon as you start to spin your wheels and you're not getting anywhere, stop. Stop, yeah. Yeah. And then let your tyres down. And then just let your tyres down a little bit more and then you're before off. you, get really you need to get your What's tracks. floating in the water over there? You need to get your tracks out. It's like it's a, rubbish. It might be, yeah. Or it's a pot. Crab pot. It's pretty pretty close to be a crab pot. So yeah. So if you get bogged, don't keep trying to get out because all you're going to do is just get the car, the belly of the car closer to the sand, and then when you get that far bogged, then you're in trouble. Yeah. So stop. You've done that. Yes. And then <laughs> let your tyres down probably to about 12. Yep. A little bit more try get out and if you don't get out that's when you use your tread pros yep okay we've done a bit of driving up in the soft stuff because it's high tide now mrs crispy's going to move down to the harder stuff and go into high four can i just do it here yep so obviously you don't do that on a very steep yeah don't 
That's what people do, tip their cars if they yeah. come down onto the hard sand. So... What are you going to do now? I'm going to stop the car. Yep. I'm going to put it into neutral. Yep. We'll get her to get out of here. I'm in neutral and then I'm going to move this thing over here to high. A lot of cans on the beach. There's a is... lot of rubbish on the beach so on the way back we're going to... I haven't got a bag, we'll just chuck it in the back of the car. There's a lot of cans and beer cans and stuff. So, yeah. Disappointing. Yeah, it is disappointing. And uh, another tip is when the water goes, when the wave comes in and then it goes out and you just see that look, a bit of a, like a shiny look, yeah, don't drive on that either. It's just, it's salt water. It's just going to wreck your car. Mrs. Chris, we have to clean the car when she gets home from Tiwa. Yes. Yeah. I'll just take it to the Tiwa car wash. Yeah. I got an awesome car wash at yeah, Tiwa. Yeah, no, it is good. Under, under, it's a similar one to um, the one at Rainbow. When you come back from Fraser and stuff, they got a big one there. What do you got there in your cute little handbag? <laughs> <laughs> well. Someone felt guilty watching the last video with Uncle Johnny where I had was given a drone by Crispy that was crap. Um, came from overseas, the, the instructions was in Chinese. <laughs> yeah. Um, which, it worked. I'm not gonna lie, it did actually work, but only inside because as soon as you were outside with any wind, it just flew off. Um, so Crispy felt guilty, I'm assuming Crispy. Yes, I did. And I got a DJI mini 2 yep. um, which is awesome I don't want to break it so how cute is this little drone yeah. so I'm going to test it out today Yep. so it's really easy to use you just pop it out like that and to turn it on you have to click it once and then hold it down yep. and see how that moved yep. so that's ready to go Grab my phone and set it up with the controller. So, this is the controller. So, you just plug it in here and it goes on like this. And the little controls, joysticks, joystick sticks, are in here. Little, little position in the bottom of the controller is quite good. So, you just screw that on. Yep. So you don't need to have them on all the time because you can break them. They do give you spares. It comes with spares as well. Yeah, I've, I've pinched one already. What? Because <laughs> I've lost one. So what are so you doing now? So just opening the app. And then again, you just hit it once and then hold it down until it turns on, which it's on now. Yep. And then I've got the app going. So you hold this down. So quiet. So quiet. And that's how the stage there. It's be ready to fly. So um Christy's videoing us here. So this is the drone footage. I love this the drone. It's so tiny, eh? This is the first time I've had it out. I only <laughs> yeah. used it in the front yard. Um so yeah, we might take it up. And hopefully you Carl don't... <laughs> Crispy did buy me uh, um, insurance. Yes. So we bought the. When you buy a DJI drone, you can buy the DJI Care Fresh. So you get it for a year. And for this drone, it was $79 for a year. And you get two replacements. So if we crash it into the ocean or crash it and damage it, they will replace it, the whole unit. So you can adjust the camera face down too like so as we're going up I can face the camera down so you can see us do you remember how you held me thin now you've got me reaching out
That's it. Cool. Done. Can I have a look at it? Success. What? <laughs> Can I have a look at it? You wanna go? <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> The Krispies are showing me that you should practice a figure eight. Yeah, so when you, because when you face it away from you. It's the opposite. And then when you're coming back toward you, you bring it back toward you, it's it's a little hard to do. So what you do is you just practice like little figure eights. Oh, it's got the um, sensors. Landing, landing sensors on, so you can't actually like land it on your palm because as soon as it picks up your your hand it uh it goes back up so it works yeah so the other way to land it is just hold down that um joystick and it'll land so the other little tip is when you got on un oncoming traffic some people do it some people don't you but put if there's in I always get to it when there's any doubt about which what side you're going. Yeah, so if you... When the tide's high. Yeah. Yeah. The same rules apply on the road or on the beach, exactly the same. So, but what people do is they blinker that they're going to be to the left of you or the, to the right of you. So we're coming up to the exit to get back up onto the other sand. <laughs> and to stay in the tracks. Oh, here comes another car. Yeah, just move over. When you get up here a bit. Yep, that's it. Beautiful. Oh, they're waiting, which is cool. Yeah. Smart move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sending it. Should have waved. Yeah. We didn't wave. I know, but we... Should have waved, because they waited. Oh, that's right, yes. <laughs> did, you, did you wave? No, You're I in the control of the vehicle. Wave. Yeah. So someone's bogged up here in our lane, so we'll have to wait for them. We'll wait for the oncoming traffic. What are we doing now, Mrs. Crispy? <laughs> uh, uh, What's we're going to air up now. <laughs> yep. So what do we do? We're going to get the little bag out, which is in here, I think. Not Maybe not that one. Top one. On? Yeah, turn it on. Turn it on. Yep. Okay. So, what are you doing there? Unplugging these in. The lines, air lines into there. And you just push them in and they click in. And then I'll do what you usually do. And then you, that's for you to do. Oh. Which side? This side? Yeah, you can do that side. Oh, okay. Yep, and then go pressure control. And the target pressure is 38. So when that blue goes black, it's pumped up. What? Nothing. I love my So you just push the pressure control and put the pressure off. Okay, that's a wrap. Mrs. Crispy driving on the beach. There'll be more to come and um, in a couple of weeks time, she's gonna be driving by herself with Uncle Johnny at Tiwa, towing the camper trailer. So. Look out. Yep. She's come and join us everyone at Tiwa. Yeah. The weekend of the 16th, I think it's the 16th. 16th of October. Yeah, we're doing a clean up at Tiwa Beach, surf rider. We're giving away an easy barbecue yep. and a couple of crispy t-shirts. Yep. Um, just you... come along, get a ticket and you go in for yep. the draw. But more importantly, we're cleaning up. Cleaning the, up the beach. Cleaning up the beach, a beautiful, beautiful place that yep. everyone loves to camp out. So come along and help. Yep. So please like, like the video, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next vid. You! <laughs>